Hey there everyone, welcome to True Tech Guru and in this video we are going to learn about how to install new tools and missing tools in Linux distribution. First of all, open a terminal window and the very first command that needs to be executed is sudo apt update. Basically this command will update your sources.list file which holds the repositories of your current operating system. I'm using elementary OS which is based on Ubuntu but the commands that I'm gonna teach you in this lesson will be working on every Linux distribution whether it's Ubuntu, Kali or any other Linux distribution. The commands are same for any other Linux distribution as well. So after that command, the next command that needs to be done is sudo apt install the tool name. Okay, let me explain you this command. Here, sudo tells the operating system that to run this command as a super user or a root user and apt install is the command which enables us to install new tools and the tool name is the name of that tool which you want to install. Okay, so I'm gonna install the missing tools of Fluxion. A lot of viewers were asking about how to install missing tools of Fluxion. So in this video, I'm gonna cover that as well so first of all let's check which tools are missing so let me open a new terminal window and see which tools are missing As you can see, I don't have these three tools. So let's install these three tools. Starting from the bottom, the very first tool that I'm gonna install is dsniff. How to install this? Simply use that same command and just replace this tool name with dsniff and we are good to go. As you can see the tool is successfully installed let's check whether or not this is installed to do that let's rerun this command now as you can see the dsniff packet or the tool is successfully installed now what about the other two tools okay so far you learned how to install a tool into Linux distribution but there there are cases in which some tools are only available for some certain Linux distributions like here this mtk4 and cow party is not available for my distribution I'm using elementary OS and as I can show you that this mdk4 is not available for me as you can see unable to locate package mdk4 which means this package is not available to my distribution we can actually install the tools which are not available for your distribution by editing the sources.list file but in my distribution as this is not available I can install Kali's repository to download this tool. Let me show you mdk4. Wait. So here you can see that this tool is available for Kali. Which means if we install Kali's repository then we can, then we will be able to install this tool. Now how to install Kali's repositories? 
to install that you can install it by manual way by manual way what I mean is searching web and uh, looking for Kali repositories then copy that repository and pasting it into your, your sources or list file then saving that file and after saving that uh, re running update command again and then ins installing those tools and after installing those tools uh, removing those repository Kali repository as it is important to remove that Kali repository files after you install your required tool so this is a kind of long process and uh, some of you might not be able to do that correctly so in order to do this effectively and in an easy way we can use a tool named Catalin so okay, uh, let's search Catalin I'm sorry, I spelled it wrong. Okay, so Catalin. Catalin is basically a Python script which automates the task for us, which or we can say which is our task. So first of all, let's clone into Catalin. Click on clone or download, then copy the link from here. And then write git clone and then paste the url that you just now copied and then press enter as you can see now we have catalin let's go to catalin file directory by writing cd catalin then press enter and after that run a command sudo catalin okay uh, you need to write sudo python and then catalin.py after writing that press enter okay so now you can see something like this so here it gives you four options the very first is add Kali repositories and update second is view categories and there are some bunch of other options as well but we are going with the first step first option add Kali repositories and update and in the first option we further choose first option add Kali repositories type 1 and press enter make sure you are connected to internet before doing all these steps after this step we choose the second step which is update we write 2 and press enter this process can take a while depending upon your internet speed so i'm gonna fast forward this process and directly move to the next step now remember you should use catalin only if you are unable to install those tools from your own original re uh, repositories by running sudo apt install then the tool name command otherwise if you are able to install those tools directly then there is no use of this catalin this is only if you are unable to install those tools from your own linux distributions repository so the repositories are updated finally now you are good to install those missing tools let's see so let's first install it mdk4 sudo apt install mdk4 as you can see now you are able to install that package which previously you were not able to install Okay, so we install this package and before running this command again, let's install the other package too. Write command again, sudo apt install and then the tool name that is cowpatty.
and we installed both these missing tools as well let's check if it is installed run this command again and as you can see the tools are installed all the tools are installed and you are now good to use Fluxion. A very important step is still pending that is to remove those repositories. And how to remove those repositories? Let's go back into the first tab and here you can see we have the third option that is remove Kali Linux repositories. Choose the third option and then press enter and it, it tells you that all Kali Linux repositories have been deleted and then update the sources.list file again. This is an important step and it should be done. If you don't do this step and even by accident if you run this command that is sudo apt upgrade simply this is a command which upgrades your system like it upgrades your operating system to a new version of your operating system but if you didn't remove the Kali repository files and run this command then you will not be able to start your system again it will crash your system so it's important to remove that Kali repository files once you are done so in this video you learned how to install a new tool and how to install the missing tools which are not even available to your Linux distribution. Now thanks for watching, have a nice day.